Now, I wasn't actually planning to make a video today. However, I've just seen a huge amount of comments on X and on my YouTube channel about the A-level physics paper two that you've just sat. So the first bit of feedback I got was that the paper was majestic. However, that was the OCR paper, which thankfully was much better than OCR paper one. So yeah, people saying that it was decent and it's the same for edXL. I think edXL have had a good paper one and a good paper two. I suspect that if you're watching this, you are probably one of the panicked crying AQA students and you are not alone. And um, there's probably nothing really positive I can say apart from the fact that the grade boundaries are gonna be super low. All the students found this paper difficult, and that's including students who've, you know, been absolutely smashing it on paper one in past papers. Um, I've got a few comments here, and obviously you can read more and add your own. But yeah, uh, so basically, um, so somebody said that AQA was horrible, hardest paper ever. Uh, they did all of the past papers, even the legacy ones, and this still had some of the hardest questions. Uh, AQA was absolutely cursed. My life is ruined. Uh, probably the worst paper they've ever done in your life. And of course, don't forget, if you're finding this paper hard, but you're finding other exams that you're doing straightforward, like if it's maths or chemistry, it's not your fault. That just means that the paper has been written too hard. Um, people saying that AQA was ridiculous. Uh, it felt like knowing the content didn't help at all, as some of the questions were just bizarre and required so much analytical skill that most people ran out of time. It was an aw awful atmosphere, honestly, leaving the exam hall because people were so convinced they'd failed. Well, look, everybody can't fail, and I completely understand how this is going to affect your confidence, especially as you've got paper three in the coming weeks. Um, and of course, it's the same for teachers. Your, your teachers who've been, you know, hoping that you get a good, fair exam, they are just as upset as you are. And obviously, they don't want to, to kind of prepare you as best they can and find that you go into the exam and then you don't feel confident about the work. I think what I've seen in terms of the feedback is the questions um, were just a bit strange in the way they were written. It's very hard to actually identify what you were being asked about. Um, and that meant that when you got on to maybe the easier multiple choice questions, lots of people had just run out of time. So all I can say is that the grade boundaries are going to be massively low. And that's because even the ASAR students were struggling and feeling like they'd failed. And all you can do now is just look forward, or if I say look forward, you just need to look forward to paper three. Now, don't forget, paper one from AQA this year was absolutely fine. Normally, the second part of paper three, that uh, topic on maybe astrophysics, medical, engineering, or turning points, or I guess there's a couple of you doing electronics as well, that second part is always generally pretty good. So you're gonna be absolutely fine with that. And fingers crossed, paper 3A goes okay. But yeah, uh, I don't know what else to say really, apart from the fact that it's completely normal to feel like you did really badly. But I don't think you did badly. I just think that you did your best and just some of the questions were a little bit difficult very, very, very difficult this year. Anyway, once I see the paper, I'll maybe do a bit more feedback on it. But yeah, um, anyway, if you are watching this, then you can join me for some live streams coming up over the next week. And uh, yeah, I hope all of you just kind of put this behind you. Don't discuss it too much. There's nothing more to be said. There's nothing you can do to change it. You just gotta look forward and hope that paper three is a lot better. Thank you.